Now, maps can be very important. If you are renting a car somewhere, you absolutely want to make sure you have maps, even if you don't have connectivity. So on Google Maps, you tap your account button and choose offline maps, select your own map. Let me show you that on my Android. Notice my airplane mode is still on. Airplane mode is on, I have no connectivity. So I'm going to go to maps and let me show you, for example, Alaska. So notice Google Maps still has a map, but it has very little detail. If you scroll down and down, notice how everything just looks kind of jagged. No detail in the map. That's what you get if you are offline. Now, if I go to Cuba, you'll see that I have a lot of detail. That's because I've downloaded the map. So the map for this area of Cuba is available offline. So let me show you how to do that. You tap on your account button and offline maps. And notice Kamawe is the area of Cuba that I downloaded. Let's say I also want the Havana area. I select the map and I go over to Havana. Cuba kind of goes east and west. So let me see if I can get more going this way. Notice when I pinch too much, the whole box gets smaller. So there's only a certain amount that you can get and you have to specify that area. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of messy, but you can, you can do it, but you have to make sure that you get every area that you're going to be traveling through. If I tap download, well, it won't work now because I'm, <laughs> I'm offline, but that will work. Now, let me show you an option. There's another app that we have used when we know we're going to be offline a lot called maps.me, that one right there. And this is an app, a free app, available for both Android and iPhone. And notice, notice those purple areas. Those are areas where I have already downloaded the maps.me map. I don't have it for Cuba. I scroll into where we were in Cuba, and there's a little bit of detail, but not a whole lot. Notice as soon as I scroll down to a level of detail that they don't have, it prompts me, download the map. And notice this, all I have to do is tap download map and I get the entire country of Cuba. I don't have to go section by section by section. I really like that. And we actually we used this a couple times as we were traveling around in the Wyoming area, I think. Mm hmm And yeah. it was pretty good. Well, most of the places we go, we have internet connectivity, so it's not an issue. But there are places on that map where there are no connectivity. Now, this is free. Well, it says seven free maps left. So there is a fee. I'm not sure what it is if you're going to want more than seven maps. But seven maps... Pretty, certainly should cover most trips and then you can you can change them. So that is maps.me.